Hello everyone, this is Take from BigAdTalker.com and welcome to BHD Studios. As you can tell, this is going to be about straps. Not all about straps. Well, okay, it's going to be all about straps. Uh, I've hesitated to do strap reviews for the longest time. A lot of people have been asking me to do them. Uh, the reason is because straps are very personal. You know, it's like clothing. It's 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 it is functional, but it's also kind of fashionable, and it's very subjective to where you live in the world. You know, the climate. Maybe leather is not such a great material. Uh, maybe just for ethical reasons, you don't want to use leather. For other people, maybe it's a matter of. Um, what type of photography you are shooting. So maybe you are a DSLR shooter and you want to use something more functional like this. Uh, this is a, a great strap here. And as well, maybe you know you want these little neck, kind of uh, cushy neck um, padding, or maybe you don't want it, right? This one here by um, 4V, uh, designed from Italy. Beautiful straps, well made. Uh, nice cushy neck. In fact, this is probably one of my favorite of the wider straps here. And so because of that, I've kind of hesitated, but there are a few brands that I really enjoy shooting with. And I just got sent a brand new uh, strap from Camera Film Photo by one of my favorite strap brands, Kuda. Uh, from Japan and so I thought I would do a, a, an unboxing and sort of uh, show you why I like this strap but as well maybe I will in the future include more comparison between various brands ones I like you'll probably already see some of the different brands I have here I have a uh, Barton 1972 uh, 4V design I have sailor strap I have child of laborer uh, what else do I have here I have Atelier Mass I have um, I've been starting to review Clever, uh, Clever Supply Company, but I, ha I have a lot of straps here. Uh, even uh, Artist and an Artist and Coop H, which is probably uh, m not as well known. But uh, anyways, let's let's uh, I'll move all this out of the way, and then we will do a um, uh, an unboxing of this strap here, and then we'll see how things go. All right, so let's start the review now. Actually, let's just move these straps out of the way first. All right. All right, all gone. And all that's left here is my my favorite Leica M7. And this is actually uh, one of the one of my favorite straps. It's made by Kuda from Japan. And uh, this was a limited run. Camera Film Photo is the global distributor uh, for Kuda straps. I've met Mishima Sang, who is the the owner of Kuda. And uh, what Vishal likes to do at Camera Film Photo is do limited run straps. And so if you're kind of a collector, you like to you know you collect sneakers, you collect I don't know. Whatever you collect, uh, the rarer, the more fun it is to have, I guess. And so this, as soon as I, I got this from Camera Film Photo, um, I put it on some YouTube videos and some Instagram posts. And uh, Camera Film Photo said that they instantly sold out of these right away as soon as I started showcasing the, uh, the strap. And so uh, he sent me another one here, and I thought I would do um, an unboxing because it's another line. So since, uh, since he did limited runs of this strap, they have come up with a few other uh, limited run versions, but this has always been my favorite. And I told Camera Film Photo, as soon as there's another limited run, please send me one right away. And so uh, Vishal did that. So thank you so much, Vishal. I'll leave my M7 because it's so pretty. I'll just leave it there in the corner. So let's just start the unboxing. Uh, one of the things I really like about Camera Film Photo is that uh, he does send stickers. And as I always say, the best companies gives you stickers with their products and so um, let's just see these and uh, if you have never been to their website go check them out they are very um, film centric I, I don't even think they have anything uh, that is really specifically for digital photography a lot of darkroom uh, products and a lot of film cameras you can buy straps so and put it on your digital camera as well so it's not exclusive to analog photography but you know these I love these stickers here I tend to put them on whatever I can so stickers 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 look at these cool stickers this is a cool one here too I've never seen this one here before it's a nice large one here so let's move these stickers out of the way and uh, one of the things about uh, Kuda that I really appreciate is that uh, everything so the strap is made in Japan but uh, Mishima san does his best not his best he actually sources out everything including the packaging from Japan so this is uh, from Japan I like the 
the little um, the gold foil on camera film photo. So this is made exclusively uh, for camera film photo. These these limited run colors. And I asked camera film photo like you know like he told me the numbers. I won't tell you the numbers, but they're very limited. Some of them you can count them on your hands. How many of a particular color and length or or style? Because they do make wrist straps as well. And so um, I said, why do you do it? And he said, well, because it's more fun to do limited, right? Like why would you want to make hundreds or thousands of them? So these are limited run, and and like as I mentioned, uh, Kura does their best to source everything in Japan. So even like the paper, all this, this is all printed in Japan. Um, the paper is from Japan. The wrapping, everything is from Japan. So that's what I really appreciate uh, the attention to detail that Kura has on their products. And so let's look at the strap. I know what color they sent me because as soon as I saw it, and here we go, guys. Check this out. Look at the colors. Orange with a sort of a, it's not the Japanese indigo blue. It looks a little bit lighter than that. And then this orange. And then the, um, the leather tabs in here looks kind of like a charcoal gray kind of blue. And then they have these red tabs here that will protect the camera body. And one of the things that I really, like about the CUDA straps is that CUDA actually, they do make their own rings. And that's something that's very unique. These are brass rings. And the advantage of brass, let's just, I'll show you here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, I have a, no, you can't see it, but they are, they are, these, these are chrome um, plated brass. And so you might be able to see a little bit of brassing in there. So what mean, what that means is that these lugs, especially if you have an older Leica, even these little um, strap lugs are made out, of, made out of brass. If you have a steel ring on a brass lug, what happens is you wear out the lug. So if you have an older Leica, like an M3, I think those actually have these brass lugs here. You want brass rings. And the first thing you should do is to swap them out for brass rings. And Kuda actually does sell the rings separately here. And so it doesn't matter what brand of strap you like, if you have this style of lug and and you like using rings on your uh, on your cameras, the number one thing you can do is buy these. They're not that expensive. You can go online. I'll put all the links down below. Uh, you can buy them from Camera Film Photo, global shipping. And uh, I've switched almost all of my straps. I love BART 1972 straps, but the first thing I do is I, um, I swap them out for these CUDA uh, brass rings. And so that's one of the reasons why I really like uh, the overall construction of, of um, CUDA straps. Nice leather tabs here. They're nice and thin, they're not thick. This uh, strap is not meant for anything too heavy, so if you do have like a large uh, SLR, film SLR or DSLR, it's not that you couldn't use it, but I, I would personally prefer something more sturdy. But on, on rangefinder cameras, on point and shoots, on X100s, and that cameras like that, I say that straps like this are perfect. So look at that. So he does have three limited uh, color designs. Got three limited, I'll use the term colorway, like a lot of uh, sneakerheads do. So there's three limited colorways. This one, there's a yellow one, and then more like a, kind of a mix with purple and gray. This was my number one. I really wanted the yellow one. Actually, I wanted all three of them. And so, uh, and I got the one, I think the 110 centimeter length. There is a, a longer one if you like to do cross body, but let's just, I'm gonna take this off and then put this one on and we'll just see what it looks like. So maybe we'll just do a, a quick kind of a time lapse. This is it. What do you guys think? I think that the this red on, on the edge here works really well with the red dot. I, 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 I'm neither a fan or not a fan of the red dot. I know some guys like to cover it. I think aesthetically it looks cool that there is one little red dot, but I know for concern of theft and things of that nature, I don't go to any places where I worry about my cameras being stolen, so I, I just leave the red dot. If it wasn't there, I'd be okay with it as well, but it does match this red here with this red, and then you have this nice orange here. So what do you guys think? I think this looks awesome. I am excited. And so uh, I, I did notice here though that uh, maybe I could be wrong, and I'll, I'll get back to you, but it seems like this brass ring is even thicker than the previous brass rings, like just 
just barely microscopically. It could just be, I don't know, it just feels a little thicker, but it's really well built. Uh, the quality is nice. The silk does not, um, it's very smooth. It's, I wouldn't call it slippery, but definitely if it's sliding around your neck, you're not gonna worry about rope burn on the back of your neck, which you can get sometimes on uh, different types of straps. I'll just show you some of my favorite ones here. This strap here from Barton 1972, the braided military. This probably gets the most attention. I get a lot of people asking about it. Again, here we go, upgraded to the Cuda brass ring here. Um, this one here, until it breaks in like a nice pair of jeans, it, this, you can get a little bit of rope burn, which is, yeah, I'm all right with it. Once it's worn in, it's fine, right? So this is a very plain looking strap, but very utilitarian. And on something a bit heavier, like an SLR, having a thicker braided strap is great. I use this on my XH1 as well. This strap here is also one of my favorites. It's by Atelier Mass, a Christian Friedman. I think he's kind of gone independent. I'm not sure if the brand, they're still making it. I think he said temporarily they're in hiatus, but they make really nice high-end European leather straps. And I like this direct, the, the, the ring onto the strap with this little brass uh, little rivet here. I think it looks really nice. This is also one of my favorites that uh, I enjoy using. And uh, on here, I've been testing this. This is a, a Clever Supply. He actually uses the, the Peak Design anchor system. And so you want to quickly interchange these and uses like nice thick leather. And I actually customize this by asking him to do a contrasting red stitching on black leather like this. And so, um, you know, I, 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 I like all different types of straps, but I think on range finders and on more elegant cameras, so I would put this on my X100 as well. I think these silk straps are really nice. And, and Kuda, they do make other styles. They do kind of make a, like a vinyl strap here. Like it's like the, I don't know, like, like a seat belt type material. And this is fine. This actually is really nice and easy on your neck. And I've used this on my Leica. Uh, the red matches really well. Um, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's less luxuriant. But this is a nice strap as well. Uh, this is a similar silk strap here. So this is a limited run. I think this may have been limited. Very plain, just a light gray on dark gray. And it still has that same kind of the backing here that protects uh, the body from the ring and the strap and this like the leather ends here uh, and so I, I do sometimes whip this one out when I want something a little bit more plain looking and they do create this kind of a, a, a unique strap where actually it's kind of a it, it's like a little a, a handbag you kind of hold it like this it's a short it's a short strap like this but you can then twist it like this and then use it like a wrist strap and so this is kind of a cool idea this is another Kuda strap design you can see right there, and then it uses, again, their really nice brass rings. And so, uh, yeah, so I, I will start doing more strap reviews, guys, and maybe some more unboxings. Let me know what type of straps you want me to review. I get sent straps by a lot of different companies, and I, or I, they get, they, they ask me if they can send me some, and like I said, I'm very subjective. I tell them sometimes, look, I think your straps are cool, but it's not really my style, and so that's the problem with me reviewing straps, is I'm only gonna review stuff I like. And over the years, I've been working with different brands like Sailor Strap, Hello, captain uh, this is eventually what I really wanted him to make which is a, a thinner rope strap here he uses um, nautical rope here and with the leather ends and again a built-in little rear cap it's a nice thick leather and then again upgraded to a, a Kuda ring but this is a, a nice strap here and this is an artist and an artist, probably a more well-known brand. Uh, Mishima-san, he used to be the general manager of uh, Artist and an Artist before he left and started Kuda. So that's kind of uh, Kuda's background. The, the, their, their DNA, their heritage is from Artist and an Artist. As I mentioned before, 4V Design is an Italian uh, company. They also make, it's also ring style, again, upgraded to Kuda. And this is a really nice cushy if you want if you have something like a heavy weight and I would have like a DSLR or an SLR and the weight starts bothering you then you would want to upgrade to a strap like this really well made Italian leather you could tell I really <laughs> like leather straps they just feel nice you know I like leather straps on my watches as well and so this is a really nice strap
YB Putro from Indonesia, he makes beautiful straps, wrist straps, neck straps, and I've been using his stuff for years, and so I really recommend uh, his product. And I'll probably do a separate video on his straps, but I like these. And as well, this is one of my favorite straps as well. It's uh, Barton 1972. This is, I don't even think they make this. This is their braided strap, uh, the rope strap leather and it's black on brown so it's really hard to tell that it's actually two contrasting colors and I like the the machine stitching here to give it strength here and again upgraded the rings to CUDA so these these are uh, the various straps I like to use but uh, CUDA right now is in terms of my premium straps for my premium camera uh, I really like the style of it because straps like clothing like sneakers Yes, they're functional, but they're also fashionable, and I think this is very fashionable. So, limited time run, guys. I would definitely get on board, and if you like this uh, colorway as well as the other ones, get them as soon as you can. And even if these straps don't appeal to you, I highly recommend. I've upgraded all my rings to the CUDA brass rings with the chrome plating. I think this is a, a something, a matter of protecting your lugs so you don't wear them out faster than they have to. And so, thanks for watching guys. Let me know in the comments again if you guys want to see more strap reviews, unboxings, things like that. Because, you know, I'm not showing you this on my neck. I'm just kind of showing you a close-up of this strap right now. But um, if you want to see more me using it in the field and why I like certain lengths and why I like certain ones for certain types of cameras, I'll definitely do a deep dive if that's what you want. But uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Guys, I would love to grow this channel and be able to do more and be able to create more weekly content because, uh, you know, without an embedded sponsor, um, I can't really afford to spend too much time making YouTube videos. But uh, if you guys like and I get my videos going more viral, then maybe that will be more of an incentive for me to create more videos for you. So thanks for watching and happy shooting. Peace.